In our last video, we determined that statistically significant differences exist between at least some of our groups, but in order to determine which regions are higher on which wickedness than which other regions, we will conduct a Tukey's Honestly Significant Difference Post Hoc Test, or Tukey's HSD. The correct pronunciation is Tukey's. Students are often getting this incorrect. It's Tukey, not Turkey. Now, the Tukey's post hoc test involves this formula. It's Q times the square root of MSW divided by N sub K. Let's figure out Q first, and then we'll talk about what those other numbers represent. Q is a constant that we can determine from a table known as the studentized ranged Q table. For this Q value, we need to know K, that's a number of treatments, and the degrees of freedom within. This comes from our ANOVA summary table. So in our example, we had four treatments, so K equals four. Our degrees of freedom within was 16. So we're going to go to the column, number of treatments equals four. We'll go down to the row with 16, and we'll find at the intersection of those two values, 4.05. Now, by the way, the studentized ranged Q table is also at the back of your notes. You can find it waiting for you there. So we now have our Q value, that's 4.05. We then need to plug that in with the mean square within and N sub K. This will give us the Honestly Significant Difference, or HSD, which is the least amount that the means must vary from each other in order for them to be statistically significantly different. If the, if the means differ by more than this HSD value, they are statistically significantly different. The way we will complete our HSD formula is we'll plug in our Q value, that constant that we got from the studentized range Q table, which was 4.05, Multiply that by the square root of the mean square within 1.20. That also comes from the F ANOVA summary table. And the N sub K, that's the number of participants in each category, or the N for one condition. Remember there were five scores in each category. That's where the five comes from. Now this means that in order to use the HSD, we should have an equal number of participants in each of the groups. That's the assumption. If that's not the case, we'll have to use a different type of post hoc test. So when we do the math, we come up with an HSD value of 1.98. That means that the minimum difference between means must be at least 1.98 for them to be statistically significantly different. I have the means listed over here on the right. Mean 1 is 1. Mean 2 is 1.4. That's a difference of 0.4. Is that more or less than 1.98? Well, it's less. So those two means are not statistically significantly different. But look at mean 1, which has a value of 1, and mean 4, which has a value of 4.2. Subtract them, it's 3.2. 3.2 is greater than 1.98, so the difference between mean 1 and mean 4 is statistically significantly different. What we would then do is a series of comparisons of each of the means to find out which means were different from which other means. And at that point, we could return to our five steps and finish writing up our results. The statistic that we calculated from the F test was an F value of 10.49 with 3 and 16 degrees of freedom. Notice how those are the degrees of freedom are written up in parentheses. And then we make our decision. So the F value tells that the differences did exist, and the post hoc tells us where those differences actually resided. So there was a statistically significant difference among the four regions on wicked witch complaints. F with 3 and 16 degrees of freedom equals 10.49, P less than 0.05. Post hoc testing revealed that the North and the South were lower in their number of complaints than the East and the West. And that's how we would do our one-way ANOVA by hand. Next, we will learn to conduct this same ANOVA in SPSS.